वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर माई सेकेंड सेशन ऑन मैनेजमेंट थाट्स अ जर्नी सिंस इंसेप्शन दिस इज डॉक्टर किरण शेंडे फ्रॉम ऑल इंडिया श्री शिवाजी मेमोरियल सोसाइटीज कॉलेज ऑफ पटेल मैनेजमेंट एंड केटरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी पुणे महाराष्ट्र लेटस नाउ बिगिन विथ माई सेकेंड पार्ट ऑन अ चैप्टर कॉल्ड एज मैनेजमेंट थाट्स अ जर्नी सिंस इट्स इंसेप्शन let us now begin with the objectives of the session the objective of the class is to learn 14 principles of management by mr henry fayol let us now quickly understand who was mr henry fayol he was a french mining engineer who developed a general theory of business administration that is oftenly called as fayolism he was widely widely acknowledged as a founder of modern management let us now begin with his 14 principles of management which has contributed values to the field in the field of management first and the foremost every organization should have division of work for a successful organization there has to be authority and responsibility there has to be discipline in an organization there has to be unity of command there has to be unity of direction there has to be subordination of interest individual interests there has to be a good remuneration paid there has to be a good degree of centralization practice scalar chain there has to be a good order there has to be equity there has to be stability of tenure of personnel there has to be a very good initiative takers in an organization and lastly spirit de corps has to be practiced well in an organization let us now take this objectives one by one and start with the first objective that is or the first principle that is division of work now what uh, it says the main objective is to produce more and better work with same efforts now what uh, mr fayol says is you should have a correct bifurcation of work in an organization everybody should be knowing their job well it is accomplished through reduction in the number of tasks to which attention and efforts must be directed so what he has to say is there has to be a correct division of work for an successful organization every organization should practice authority and responsibility very well authority basically is the right to give orders and responsibility is its essential counterparts so every organization should follow these practices very correctly when authority is exercised responsibility arises so every manager should be made responsible in other words you can say it as authorities and responsibilities goes hand in hand and if it is taken correctly and seriously which will lead to a successful organization number 3 every organization should have a correct discipline it implies to obedience and respect for agreement between the firm and its employees discipline has to be there in every organization establishing these agreements which are binding on both are important for the organization so if you have correct discipline in an organization the organization will lead to a successful future there has to be a very good unity of command an individual employee should receive orders from one manager and the that the employees are answerable to the manager so ideally there has to be orders received from only one manager and not from 10 managers if the tasks is related to responsibility are given to employees by more than one manager this may lead to confusion which may lead to possible conflicts between employees so if you have to reduce the conflicts between employees they should be taking the orders only from one manager if they take orders from 10 different managers there has to be there will be a chaos between employees and will end up in lot many conflicts there has to be a unity of direction that has to be one person only to give the directions all activities having one objective must be unified by one plan and headed by a single head of the department these activities must be described in a action plan the manager is ultimately responsible for these plans and always will monitor the progress of the defined plans and activities so it is the sole responsibility of a manager so the pointer of telling is if you have a good manager 
which will lead to a very successful department. Subordination of individual interests. In order to have an organization function well, organization objective needs to be given the priority over individual objectives. So that means you should always keep the organization before anything else. You think about the organization first and then the rest of the things. The primary focus is on the organizational objectives and not on those of individuals. This applies to all the levels and within the entire organization, including the top management, the middle management, the low, low, low level management. Everybody should be thinking about the organization, then the personal interest. Uh, for a successful organization, there has to be a good remuneration paid. And that exactly what point number seven says. Motivation and productivity are close to one another. As far as the smooth running of an organization is concerned, there has to be motivation that will generate generated that will generate good productivity by paying a good remuneration. That is what is required by everybody. Remuneration should be sufficient to keep employees motivated and productive. So if you are a good payer in the market, you will end up in satisfied employees, which will in turn will give you good productivity. There has to be the correct degree of centralization and which is very important for the management to function. Management and authority of decision making process must be properly balanced in an organization. So there has to be a correct balance between every levels of the organization, every levels of the management. This depends on the volume and size of the organization and include its hierarchy. Centralization also implies the concentration of decision making authorities at the top management level or executive boards or board of directors. Sharing of authorities for decision making process with low level management, specifically the uh, middle level management and the low level management is referred to as decentralization. So we have to be really careful. If you have to have centralization practice in place, it should only and only come from the top management that will end up in creating a very good balance between the management and the employees. Scalar chain, hierarchy, management principle states that there should be a clear line in an authority from top to bottom and all managers at all the levels. So that means there has to be a clear cut hierarchy in an organization to function it effectively. This could be a type of management structure. Each employee can contact manager or supervisor in an emergency without challenging the hierarchy. So that means the organization should always follow an open door policy wherein in case of emergency, any employee can go up to the top management and explain the problem to them. So there has to be a clear open door policy followed. Point number 10, order. Employees in an organization must have right resources at their disposal so that they can function properly in an organization. So precisely they should have a good office setup wherein there is a place for everything so that everything is in place. So it is the responsibility of the top management to provide a correct infrastructure to their employees so that they can work in peace and be more productive. There has to be very importantly equity being followed in an organization. Employees must be treated kindly and equally. Employees must be in right place at the right thing. So there has to be a correct person located at a correct job and there has to be always unbiased opinion. So there has to be equality followed in an organization. Managers should supervise and monitor these processes. They should treat all the employees fairly and impartially. So there has to be unbiased opinions between the employees so that there has to be equality practiced in an organization. And for a success of an organization, this is really very important. Stability of tenure of personnel. Deployment and managing of personnel should be in balance with the service that is provided for the organization. There has to be a good balance created so that a person is doing the right thing at the right time and loving the job whatever is being given to him so that the retention is increased. Manager strives to minimize employee turnover and have the right staff at the right place. So point over of telling is if you give the employees the job which they like, they will end up in 
a longer tenure in an organization which will drastically get down the employee turnover focus areas such as frequent change of position and sufficient deployment must be always managed well so a good manager will always manage the frequent positional changes so that there is less employee turnover and increase the rate of retention a organization should have good policies for the initiative takers employees should be all allowed to express new ideas this encourages interest and involvement and creates added value for the company so the one who is taking initiatives should always be encouraged that has to be company policy employees employee initiatives are a source of strength for an organization and encourage the employees to be involved and take a lot of interest so there there has to be a policy wherein the if the employees are taking good initiatives should be rewarded as well finally spirit decops this is all about teamwork this stands for striving for involvement and unity of the employees and this will lead to a successful organization managers are responsible for the development of morale in the workplace individually as well as in the areas of communication so which will lead to a successful organization spirit decops contributes to development of the culture and creates an atmosphere for mutual trust and understanding so if you have the culture which has mutual trust and understanding amongst the amongst the subordinates among the employees who are working with them which it will end up in the successful of an success of an organization union is the strength and it comes from the harmony of of the personnel which is very important to have a correct teamwork and for a successful organization you should have a good team then only your organization will end up in giving good productive results on that note we have come to the end of the 14 principles by mr fayol uh, for making this video we have used certain uh, references which are there mentioned in front of you thank you very much students for patiently listening i'll see you back again in my third and last session on management thoughts journey since its inception thank you very much have a nice day thank you